Hey, it's Heidi from A Lively Hope here with another Book of Mormon journaling video for you. Today I am working in Mosiah chapter 3 verses 19 and 20. This is a reference that was shared in um, Bishop Cosse's uh, talk in the most recent General Conference, April 2020. And I loved this phrase and some of the quotes from his talk and so I wanted to document that here. So. I am just laying down some super loose watercolor. I'm using kind of a pinkish color and purple and then greens. And as you can see, I'm not being very careful. Um, I don't really have a plan for how I want this to look. I'm just getting something on the paper that I can then respond to and I will create some florals on top based on whatever happens here. So, it's kind of a fun... Okay, now that the watercolor is dry, I wanted to show you what the back looks like. It doesn't bleed through at all. Uh, it does kind of warp the page a bit, but then after the, the book is closed, it will kind of flatten back out. So, now I'm going to do the lettering. Um, the, the floral areas that I put down are completely dry. I dried them with my blow dryer, and now I'm going over the top. I kind of penciled in the words here, but I rarely stick to that entirely. Um, I often will kind of change it as I go, so uh, that's why I do it in pencil, because then I can erase it after the fact. Okay, so now the lettering is dry, and I have a black liner pen and a micron pen. The black liner is not waterproof, the micron is. So I start out with the micron, and then it's kind of bugging me because it's running out of ink. And so I'll switch to the black liner here in just a second. Um, you just have to be careful with these. They're, they work really well over the top of paint, especially watercolor. You can see it, it lays down a nice line, but if I wanted to watercolor over the top of this, it would just smear like crazy. So make sure that it's your last step if you're using it with watercolor. So I do not have a plan for these flowers. I'm just kind of reacting to the color that is there already. And I do really like the looseness of this, how it has white peeking through in some places, like those leaves to the left have no color in them really at all, just a little bit of green. I like how the leaves have some green and some pink. Um, I like that look. If that bothers you, um, you could definitely be much more structured with how you do a page like this. So I will let you just watch for a bit while I add a bunch of pen on top of this watercolor. So one of the quotes I really loved from this talk is, um, it says, Just as Jesus invited each one of the Nephite disciples to fill his wounds, he died for each one of us, personally, as if you or I were the only person on earth. So that's the lettering I chose to put down, as if I were the only person on earth. And then there's another quote that I love that 
later you'll see me add to a card and put in um, he says through the power of the Holy Ghost the Savior will transform you day by day until the perfect day when you will as he declared see my face and know that I am so those are the words I'm kind of meditating on and thinking about as I draw these flowers And now I'm just using a white jelly roll pen to add a little bit of detail to the center of each of the flowers. I basically just scribble a bunch of circles in the center to give it a little more definition. And then I'm using that waterproof micron pen to add some dots around the outside, just a little bit more interest. And because I knew that I wanted to watercolor over the top of these to add a little bit more color, I didn't use the black liner because that's not waterproof, so that's why I used the micron that's running out of ink. So now I'm highlighting the verses just with some blue watercolor and then I'll go around the edges of all of the flowers with blue as well just to kind of make them pop. It was a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. <laughs> Here I'm just softening the edges a bit, kind of blending them into the paper a little bit more, and that's it. Like I mentioned, there was another quote from the talk that I really loved, so I cut down a Project Life card that I had on hand, and I'm just gluing it in, and then I'll add a little bit of washi tape to kind of coordinate it with the rest of the page. And that's, oh, of course you gotta erase. That's it.